Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the top cover from the sander. Now remove the brush holders from the housing. Now I'll tip the sander onto its side and remove the sanding pad. And now I'll remove the brake. Now I can remove the bearing box from the sander. Now I'll remove the bearing from the bearing box. I've adjusted the jaws on my vise so that they'll fit on this lip on the outside of the box. Then I'll use a socket that has a diameter the same as the inner race of the bearing to tap it out of the box. Now I can install the new bearing. I've placed the bearing box on the anvil on my vise. I'll place the bearing into the box and this time use a socket with a diameter the same size as the outer race to tap the bearing into place. Now I can install the new bearing and bearing box back onto the sander. I'll secure it with the washer and the screw. Next I'll reinstall the brake. and I'll secure the bearing box and fan with the washer and screw. Now I can reinstall the pad. First I'll place the pad flange over the bearing box. The side with the raised flange should be pointed out. I'll line the pad with the screw holes and secure it with the screws. Next I'll reinstall the brush holders. and I'll finish up by reinstalling the top cover. And that's all it takes to install a new ball bearing on your power tool.